what contemporary <laughs> films do you think he would have made if he was making films now? I've got. I'm going to throw one out there. I'm going to say Parasite. Yeah, I'm, I'm say, glad you said that. Yeah, because it's too easy to say the films that are Hitchcocky. Yeah, because you know that's the go-to. But I reckon he'd be making films like Parasite, things that are more um, pushing boundaries and absolutely and, and sort of uh, skirting expectation. I agree because. I'm willing to bet, I don't know what director Bong, you know, if he did watch this, but I reckon that there's some psycho similarities that I see in that film. And I might be stretching it here, but the fact that, you know, it's very contained to a house, the the house is very important to the the plot. Obviously, we've got that, you know, that little basement person hidden in the basement. That's a a plot twist that is in Psycho too. And obviously, that plot twist that happens, I don't know, about like an hour in a a parasite, which flips it on its head. Like Psycho, it reminded me of Psycho in that way. I could see him with those plot tropes, twists, and I could see him making that. Do you that. know what I think is the most Hitchcocky thing in the entire film? Is the scene with the mother and father getting it on on the couch and the kids in the backyard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the kind of cheeky thing that Hitchcock Absolutely. would have put into any one of his films. And suspenseful. That, that, Very. Yeah, I, that's a good call, yeah. yeah. I reckon Parasite for sure he would I didn't expect that answer, but I reckon it's a good one. Yeah. I didn't like the film that much. Yeah, you, Parasite's a great film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's, Everyone's going to be on your side. Yeah, yeah I, I know. Without a doubt. We'll revisit this in 10 years. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what else? What do you reckon? Well, so if we're going to go contemporary, I mean, obviously, you know, Fincher, I could see him doing something like Gone Girl. I've got Gone, Gone Girl on my mind. I thought that if Hitch ever made a western, not that he would, yeah. it would be No Country for Old Men. Um, yeah. I know it's it's a it's a western or neo western, but I think there's some definite Hitchcockian uh, themes or tropes in that. What about um, Black Swan? Ah, oh, Black Swan. I could, yeah, I know for sure. I could see him making that. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah, there's some vibes there. That's that's definitely influenced, isn't it, by Hitchcock? Six Sense. <laughs> I think M. Night Shyamalan owes a lot to Hitchcock. He does. I, I, I agree with you. I, I think he could make that. I can't remember. Did Hitch ever make a film that had a supernatural element to it? The only one I can think of is Rebecca. Obviously, that doesn't have it, but it's alluded to. But I, I agree. I think he could. I just don't know if he would have gone Let's down think the about supernatural. That for a second, though. Did he make anything with a supernatural element? We're prepared to be corrected. I, I don't think he did. I think Rebecca's the closest he got. Yeah, right. Having said that, there's a few of his films I haven't seen. But I, I think, yeah, I mean. No, I don't think he did. I'm sitting here trying to yeah, rack, yeah. rack my brain. No. I mean, M. Light Shaman's like Hitchcock plus, you know, charmed. <laughs> 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 what about you? Do you think? Uh, well, yeah, I think maybe. I think he would have made a good Stephen King film. Misery, maybe. That's a great call. Absolutely. Of course, Misery. If you, yeah. Uh, I think, because I think. I think Stephen King writes with Hitchcock in mind. Yeah, quite for often. Sure. Yeah, his his uh, small town settings is very mm. like. Look at the trouble with Harry. Yeah, that's a very Stephen King kind of mm. environment. Yeah, absolutely. Not yeah, necessarily. I, well, the story's a little bit Stephen King, but I think just the environment. Idyllic, and then evil comes. Yeah, yeah. Imagine it's Maine. Yeah, that's where Stephen King writes yeah. all his films. Yeah. What about the Quiet Place? Yeah, I haven't seen that, actually. Yeah, I have to say, I haven't seen it. I need to. Cut from the same... Just cut from the same cloth. The Hitchcock yeah. cloth. Yeah. Oh, I've, I'm having a brain fade now. I'm trying to think there was something that was right on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> All right, let me have a think. Oh, there's something. Ike, right, here we go. I've got something. All right. Uh, this is what I was thinking. What do you think... What about Get Out? Yes. I think that when... We, you know, when we are, when you ask me this, that's one of the films that came to mind immediately. I reckon Get Out. I don't know if he would have, it may have been in a Caucasian um, vibe with Hitch. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, but, but we're talking about if he was I a filmmaker no, now. That's a good point. Good call. I reckon Get Out for sure. Yeah. I can, that's got Hitchcock vibes up and down it does. for me. But once again, see, we're, 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 we're pandering to what we know of Hitchcock, aren't yeah. we? Like, you know, that's a good call. Yeah. I'm trying to think if he was just like, Let's say Steven Soderbergh was Alfred Hitchcock. Mm. You know, I'm just trying to think what kind of films he would be making. Like he'd be pushing the the envelope in <laughs> contagion. Maybe, 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 yeah. What themes these days would Hitchcock relish? Is the better question. It is. I mean, this is the thing. I'm trying to imagine Hitchcock, his politics working today. I'm trying to think what he would make. I would say. I mean, we obviously know he's probably going to operate in a thriller 
or a horror, maybe an action genre. Macabre. Macabre, yeah. There's going to be those tr- those tropes are going to be there. Yep. So we, you've got Parasite right there. I suppose you could do A Quiet Place. Yep. Get Out. I'm trying to think um, in terms of a drama, what he would make. So do you think he would have made Big Ass Spider? <laughs> yeah. Well, birds. Maybe he would have tackled the Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> Black Widow. Black Widow. <laughs> Black Panther. Ends it. Oh. <laughs> I can't imagine Hitch making Black Panther. No. If he if he had a maybe the shape of water. Imagine uh imagine <laughs> Hitch and Bruce and um and Stan Lee hooking up. Oh yeah, that would have been fascinating. What a dinner party they would have had together. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I am trying to I, I was like I need a second. What about Phantom Thread, mate? Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. I reckon Phantom Thread. That's a good one. Yeah. But, you know, the whole poison love story, the mushrooms, I could definitely see. If only he'd been here that. to do uh, Murder on the Orient Express instead of Kenneth Branagh. Yeah, he would have actually made something decent. Here's the thing. Mm. Imagine Alfred Hitchcock, direct, in, in his opinion, how he thought of actors. Imagine him directing Daniel Day-Lewis. That would be. Oh, he wouldn't have. He wouldn't have of... had a bar of Daniel. 